Hi everyone. I just want to um, go through these glass dewdrops. Now, I know a lot of us have them, um, and you think, oh, well, what am I going to do with that? Or I'll pop it on a project somewhere, and it'll be all right. But I've shown what to do with dewdrops before. Now, here's a great idea: is to add them to a, something like this, a card, which this could now become a tag. You know, I could make that onto some chipboard and make that become a tag. I could have put turned it over and put it on one of these to highlight the B. Um, but just to make it look different in your project, in a book or a mini or whatever you want to do, is just to add them to things. So I've done that with that one. I've also, the centre of the bike, the penny farthing bike, I've added that. And it just makes that look different in the project. This key, I've added it to the key. Um, and there's some great ways. You can make eyes from them. You know, if you're doing any projects, I do these. Um, when my children, grandchildren come up and we do the uh, lizards and things like that, I have a, a lot of eyes ready for them. Um, or they make their own colour, whichever. But, it's a, you know, it's just a great way of making your own embellishments. And for your gothics and steampunk stuff, brilliant. There's an eye in the stamp. So what I did, I put a, a, a dewdrop in there to enhance the eye. But like this one, um, you could do it just to enhance, I don't know, if I want to put the Q. I mean, none of this will go to waste. It will we'll all definitely get... I use the glossy accents because it dries clear. And I pop the dewdrop on, on a little bit of glue. And there you go. It's made that Q bigger. And it's just another way of um, adding things to your projects. I mean, I fussy cut a lot of these things out of the paper... <clears throat> and I could just choose something on it, like I could choose her face. In fact, I'm going to do that. So if I just put a little dob of glue on the face and find one that's not too big. Um, maybe that one will do. And then look. That will enlarge her face slightly. And it's just different. It's so things are not... You don't have to have them the same. You could just do a number. Um. Whatever it is you want to do, like here, look, there's some glasses there. With a pair of eyes, pop some glue on, take your dew drop, and there you go, you've got a spyglass type of thing. Simple as that, and it just alters that bit of decor a little bit. Um, you can use these on any paper, photographic paper, you could do colours with them underneath. Whatever it is you want to do. Uh, you know, there's lots and lots of butterflies I could have done it with and stuck them to a butterfly. Um, just try something different, you know. Like I've cut that out. And I could pop one on the end of the eye. Um, I just like doing different things and using up what I've got. And these are the sort of things that you have and you think, oh God, I'll sit there and I won't do anything. Make use of them. There's another eye, look. I could put one on there. In fact, I'm going to. Because I do like them over eyes. I think it uh, really highlights the eye. So I'm going to use the ovalish one. Like that. Simple as. And now when I go to put that on my project, I've got something like that to put on. Which is better than having it without anything. You know, you could do it in the centre of a, a word or something. Whatever it is you want to do it on. Just go for it, and uh, I'm sure, um, you know, your projects will look far better with a little bit of something. Now, Anne, that's um, XR, sorry, um, XNR01, that's um, my friend Anne. And I don't know how you fussy cut like you do, I really don't, but um, I'm willing to pay you, darling, to do mine. <laughs> Only because... Oh, no, I, I do do mine, I'm just joking about. But Anne, you're fantastic at doing what you do because you cut dozens and dozens and dozens of things out. And I'm afraid I just don't have that... I don't have the patience, to be honest. I don't have the time, let alone the patience. Um, but I'll show you a couple more I did uh, the last time I showed how to do them. Vintage photos, look. And they look far better on your projects. So you can do this with any kind of uh, dew drop. As long as it's you can see through it and do your pictures so they're just great ways of using up those dewdrops and they look fab 
you know, look at all of these different things I've done now just by using a glass dew drop. It's great. Love them. Love the key. Definitely love that. That's going to look fab fabulous now on a project. Uh, I can't even speak me. And they are my own teeth. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do like them. And I think, you know, we need to think outside the box and just think about what we've got and how can we change something with it to make it um, different. Um, and I'm quite sure you're going to come up with something. And I found these when I was in America, staying with Chris, Robert, that's her husband, uh, kindly. These were shower curtain hooks and these were on the end for decoration. And Robert dismantled them. So if you come across them at uh, um, car boot sales, or if you come, that's in the UK, or if you come across them in garage sales and things like that, flea markets in America or wherever you have them, just think look at the tables and what they've got what have they got that you can alter because these were just they had a hook on them it came out and had a hook that went over the shower rail and that's all they had but they're great for either flower centers i mean look at them use them for flower centers um what a uh, door you know door handles on drawers whatever you want to do with them don't waste them and if you can just take them off they just pull out and uh just think outside the box. So next time you go to a garage sale, next time you go to a flea market, the next time you go to a car boot sale, don't just walk past it, you know, and quickly glance at the table. Delve in, have a look what they've got and see what you can take to alter. Because you'll be surprised. And I mean this, you will be surprised what it is you can pick up that you can alter. And, uh, you know, why not? Why not? I'm in the middle of doing this, um, I've just started it, uh, which is another wand, and these um, were just decoration on something, and I thought, they'll make handles, so I've taken it off and glued it onto a stick, and I've put the first layer of paper on, and I'm going to make it into a, a gothic type wand, um, that I'm going to carry with me on my uh, weekend, so, you know, I'll come back and show you that when it's done, but like I say, you know, I got some palm trees, but if I'm doing a beach scene, I've got the palm trees. Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got, uh, oh, I can't remember. There's all sorts of ones, squares, that I could just use for decoration and put something in the centre. Don't waste them. Don't walk past them. Pick them up and, you know, do them. Change them. Alter them. Do whatever you can with them to make it fun. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye for now.